anytime you get the opportunity, act. I don't care if it's in an audition, if it's like for your friends, if you're making a video like this, practice monologues, anything at all, like as much as you can get your hands on. Um, the one thing for me, like my biggest fear is approaching a scene that I've never seen before. Um, and after you've done a whole bunch of scenes, you start to see a rhythm in them and then you get some freedom to explore uh, and try new things with yourself and, and with characters and with emotions. So that would be my number one thing, act always anywhere anywhere you can and have a lot of fun with it watch yourself i meet a lot of people um, and know a lot of actors who have a problem watching themselves um, after they've you know done a scene or done an episode of something or a film and and uh, i don't know how you can learn without watching yourself you know, and constantly critiquing yourself and trying to get better and improve it should never stop Always have fun. Believe that going into every audition, you have the job, and now you just need to keep it. Have fun and believe in yourself. But, you know, basically get your portfolio of your pictures to study a little bit of acting, at least some, so you go in, you know some of the vocabulary, and hopefully you study all your life because it's an ongoing learning process about psychology and subliminal suggestion and indirect action and all those things that actors like to talk about. And make sure that you uh, learn a little bit about the business. Um, be prepared to take really great headshots and get as much content as you can as far as you being on camera so you have some sort of reel or clips to share. The only thing I can say that really helped me was learning that there wasn't one method that was necessarily the one for you. I learned a lot by going to different classes, studying different methods, and piecing together what worked for me. I formed my own acting technique based on each and every one of those individual approaches. That's the first thing I would say. Don't be afraid to pull what you want from each and make it your own. You need to understand your type, and that means what type of roles are you most right for, what type of shows are you most right for. Once you have that understanding, you need to know what skills are gonna be needed for that area and start refining those skills in class, in coaching, in voice lessons. Find your community, keep working even when someone else hasn't hired you to do a job or you're not getting a lot of auditions or whatever's going on. Remember that you got into this because you love doing it and you love sharing it with other people and that this is a collaboration. So collaborate, find your people, make your things and have fun every day. The biggest thing that I could tell anybody is do you, seriously, just do you. If you have, if you feel weird in a room, if you um, have social anxiety like I have my whole life and you don't feel like you can really let go or, you know, uh, be yourself in the room, you know what helped me? Stand up comedy. Take a class. It, even if you don't want to do it, take a class because there's something really amazingly freeing. Um, to all of your insecurities really uh, doing stand-up. So that would be my biggest advice. Do it often with the goal of getting good at it was, is my advice for first-timers or people who are starting out or people who are looking to improve. Do it often. Do not place any expectations or timelines on yourself. Just keep doing it with an eye of like, I want to be better at this at the end of the month than I was when I started this month. Hammer away, keep going, and do it for the love of doing it and the ideal of getting better without putting any kind of weird um, made-up benchmarks on it. My acting tips also would be don't focus so much on lines. A lot of people worry about the lines, remembering lines. I got to know my lines. I got to know my lines. That They worry so much about that that they forget to deliver the best performance possible because they're so worried about lines. I feel like you could teach a monkey to remember lines if he reads it enough times. Memorization is just learned behavior. So repetition is, you know, is what memorization is. So focus more on the deeper layers of the acting than the actual words, man. Like hone in, lock in. I kind of, I kind of started telling myself that the audition space, irrespective of who I was auditioning for or which auditioning house it was at, it was always the same space. It's my space. It's a, it's a sandbox room that I, I invite 
people into so that I can show off, really. Um, and sometimes that virtual space is at Spotlight, sometimes it's a, you know, uh, one of the other casting houses. It doesn't matter, it's always the same virtual space. It's my space. It's, a, it's the sandbox space that I've created where I'm able to go in and show people what I can do. Um, and that helps as well, it's a simple visualization technique, but I called it my room. It's my room, which goes against the, you know, the, the kind of, I think the practicality of the fact that we are called into these rooms by other entities puts us at a disadvantage. So by now thinking about it as it's always my room and it's just different people that I've invited into, into my room. I think one of the biggest things to do, um, especially for young people, is expose themselves to as much musical theater and theater and plays as they possibly can. The other thing, it sounds really obvious, but it's not. Nothing is as effective as actively performing. I think that you can study and study and research and research and please do study and go to school and please do go see lots of theater and entertainment. Um, but there's nothing like doing it. That's the best experience is you're interacting with, with people on stage, people off stage, being in front of different audiences. So I would say yes to lots of things. Say yes to the small jobs you don't think you want, but you can fit into your schedule. I think when you're just getting started, there's nothing like experience, nothing else like it. Look for legitimate agencies. There are a lot of agencies out there who will try to scam you by telling you that you need to pay them in advance for them to represent you. That's not the case. Any legitimate agency will have you audition for them and they will either take you onto their roster and through that any jobs you book they will take their cut. Um, and you know if you're in school uh, try to just take as many classes as you can and uh, you know take take acting classes, take dance classes, take voice lessons um, and you know find your community of friends to support you. And and once you graduate college, just go on as many auditions as you can. Um, it just, uh, you know, don't, because the more you do it, the better you'll get. Um, obviously, go out for parts that you think you're right for, um, but, you know, don't, uh, don't say like, oh, well, I'm not exactly right for that, you know, because the, the more that you audition, the better you'll get at it and the more comfortable you'll, you'll get at doing it. Um, read scripts and get to, you know, experience what it's like to work with different actors and you're going to get a different thing every time you work with someone new. So um, it's something that you can always do. Even if you can't afford a class, you can get together with other actors. You can find material online. There's a lot of really great videos on YouTube. Um, there's master classes. There's so much material on the internet that you can find um, even from your own home without having to leave the house. Um, and definitely get a community of people around you, people who you trust, um, who are really kind, who you feel safe with, just to practice, to improve. That's a, a free way to um, basically be um, staying sharp and, uh, and, and acting and doing what you love, even if roles aren't coming to you. That way you're always improving, you're always growing as an actor.